everybody. Real quick, I want to thank sponsor for today's video being Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN, the VPN that's going to keep you safe on the internet. So if you're not familiar with what a VPN is, a VPN stands for virtual private network. Kind of gives you your own server, protects you from getting hacked. So essentially really reducing the chances of your data kind of getting stolen, uh, personal information leaking, etc. So what's really cool about Surfshark VPN, not only is it unlimited devices, you can have it on your computer, you can share it with your mom, your dad. You can use the access country restricted data. So for example, like if you want to watch a TV show in another country, and what's even better is they give you a money back guarantee. That's right, so you can try it, get your money back if you don't like it. And even better, right now you can save 83% and get three months free by using that code on screen. Yes, that is right. So by using the code on screen and or the link in the description down below being Joel H, you can save 83% right now on your subscription to Surfshark. So, and get three months free. So what do you have to lose? Money back guarantee. Go save yourself some hassle, protect your data, have some fun. So Surfshark helping us do that. So with that, I'll let you get the rest of the video, everybody. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we are at Endzone Fire and Grill in Dallas, Texas. Here with my good friend, Miss Raina Huang. Or as Randy says, Huang. Uh, Blaine's here as well. He just run to the restroom. So yeah, here I do their Waffenberg challenge. This is a big burger challenge with waffles. So it's three of their Waffenberg burgers. You can pick chicken or beef. Then you have two orders of fries, order onion rings. Uh, I believe you have like an hour or 45 minutes to complete it. And if you do not beat it, it's 35 bucks. Otherwise it is free, you get a t-shirt, and I think a little shot glass. So let's see what happens. See so if we can do it, let's have some fun. All right, everybody, so here we are. It looks absolutely delicious. So multiple waffles, burgers, etc., etc. I got beef because beef, Texas. Blaine got beef, Randy got chicken. So we're gonna have one hour. Apparently this is undefeated. So uh, let's tune on in, eat some waffles, some burgers, and uh, there's also eggs and other stuff on here. So you know, ready to start, everybody? Yeah. Yeah, let's go start at camp five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Are we rushing? Mm. Oh wow, that's one tasty burger. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are here to do the Waffenberg Challenge at End Zone, which is in Dallas, Texas. So there's a few locations around the city, uh, four to be specific I think, and we are at one of them. Eggs and bacon and ham. And beef. So for this challenge we had three of their Waffenbergs, or like waffle burgers, you can do beef or chicken. Um, me and Blaine chose beef, Raina chose chicken, so I very much enjoyed the flavor of this challenge. Uh, there's also some eggs on them, um, so basically kind of like a breakfast burger. Um, there's bacon as well, then we had some fries, some onion rings, so pretty standard in that regard. Um, it being undefeated, we definitely wanted to kind of change that. I very much enjoyed the flavor of it as well. Um, the waffles seemed to have like a little bit of syrup in them, so it had a little bit of sweetness, which really added the flavor. Lots of waffles but it was not sweet enough that I, you know they were sugary or kind of crusted or sugar coated or anything like that kind of like a more you know legit kind of fancy belgian waffle um, but yeah definitely still a little sweet I asked for the bird cooked medium it's cooked perfect that's yours too? Sure. yeah medium rare perfectly done Got her chicken rare too. It looks really good. <laughs> the burgers they used were real beef, uh, aka not like a frozen patty, and they're very, very delicious. I very much enjoyed the flavor of them. Um, we were able to get them cooked exactly how we want it, which definitely helps. And I very much enjoy. I enjoy a good, you know, burger cooked about a medium, maybe a medium rare, depending on the kind of beef, the type of beef, um, which is something I generally cannot get in Canada. So whenever I'm in the United States, I definitely take advantage of that situation. To correct myself from earlier, if we were to win, we would not be getting t-shirts, just uh, shot glasses and the meal for free. Um, and then additionally, uh, as we kind of clarified earlier, we were not going to, you know, really try to race um, for this challenge. We're just going to try to eat it, you know, at a reasonable pace and comfortably. Um, as it was pretty, it was definitely a big challenge. Like this is a challenge I would say it definitely came out at like six pounds. Like there's sometimes you're like, oh, it's about a five-ish, six pound challenge. No, I would say this is definitely six pounds. Uh, there's definitely a lot of weight in waffles, a um, couple orders of french fries, onion rings. 
Uh, so yeah, I would definitely say a good six pound challenge, which makes it quite difficult for most individuals, but you know. So like three minutes in, waffles are really nice, they're very like sweet. It's actually really good, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. We were gonna give it our best and uh, the rest is kinda up in the air. So that everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy. Um, we'll see what happens. Hope we can get some wins. Huge thanks to Miss Reyna and Mr. Blaine for coming out to do the challenge. And uh, hopefully none of us fail. That everybody, enjoy. Five minutes, 50 seconds. Delicious, rings are incredibly crispy. I really like that burger. Seriously tempted to get another one. Waffles are good too. I'll try the fries here in a moment. And the fries taste like fries. Mind blown. Chase the waffle. It's very sweet. Soft. Yeah. A little crispy on the outside. I haven't had a waffle in years. I love waffles. Belgium, best place ever. So 11 minutes in, we're in too well, we're in too well. I just have some waffles left. We have about 50, 49 minutes left. Is that doing good? Sticky? Drifters. They're good. Lane's used like 50 containers of syrup. It is drenched. Makes it wet, sticky, moist. Moist. Belgian 
sitting here and dipping my waffle in the first <laughs> It's good! Oh, yeah. Good touch. Good touch. Yeah. So you can't Just under 15 minutes in. I need some more liquids. That was very kind. Um, everybody's doing well. Blaine, how you doing, brother? Doing good. Looks like Blaine's just down to a couple waffles, some fries. Reina is basically at the same point. So, get some wins. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished up. It's about 17 minutes, 28 seconds. Really, really good. I really like the waffle. Um, kind of a unique challenge. Burgers tasted good. Now we got Rana and Blaine finishing up there. Yeah, she was surprised. Alright, so I have four minutes left on my memory card, so I'm going to turn this off for now. And then I'll turn it back on once they each destroy the challenge. So Rana, about 44 minutes, 43, 43 about 43 minutes. We got Blaine, he just only has about, I think, four waffle pieces left. And 52 and a half minutes in, Blaine just took his last bite. <laughs> He's feeling really, really good right now. Hey, the owners are impressed. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah, they are. Hi, everyone, so all finished up. 54 minutes for Blaine, 44 for Miss Reyna, about 17 and a half for myself. So yeah, pretty cool spot. I really enjoyed the challenge. It was very delicious. Nice to have some breakfast all along with the waffles. Kind of a cool waffle burger. So everybody, until next time, stay happy, hungry. Of course, happy eating. And I have one minute left on my memory card, so perfect time. Me. And no one knows how far it goes